The Scholastic Ball Report is sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and brought to you by Central Bank, Crown Trophy, Farmers Bank and Capital Trust, Kentucky Utilities, Panel Swim Shop, P-Rats, PrepSpin.com, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank. And welcome into the Scholastic Ball Report. Gary Ball with my intern, Rebecca Cook. Third season with me, but yes. this is your last show. This You're, is my last show ever. Have you decided <laughs> Have you decided yet on a college? Still, I think uh, I'm looking at UK. Going, going to the University of Kentucky. Yes. You know, we got another great show as we wrap up season 14 here on the Scholastic Ball Report. Bath County is here. What a great job yes. Coach Armitage has done over there. With he Bath has really County. turned that program around. Yeah, they Having were having a good season so far. They're uh, ten and three. Ten and three. Last year they were eighteen and thirteen. So he's done a great job there. We're going to talk to him. Also, we'll look at some great video, not video, but some slide shots he sent us. And our uh, feature is on a young man, Jordan Blanton. He's one of the best shortstops. Not only that, Rebecca, he plays everything well. I saw him play in the state championship in football. He does, tore it up in football. Does, fo does everything. Yeah. Basically, and, and plays and there's not many kids these days that can play multiple sports like that and be successful in all of them. So. And he's like you. He's a 4.0 student. I mean, he's just all around <laughs> guy. So we're going to have a great feature on him from WYMT as we look at that. Our scholar athletes, you know, we pride ourselves here on the Scholastic Ball Report of highlighting all the uh, sports. Well, mm -hmm. we've got some archers here from Woodford County. That's going to highlight all yes. the sports. <laughs> Looking forward to that from Woodford County, the archery, uh, three of the outstanding archers there. And we've got another great Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week as we pull one out of the vault. And also Rob Ullery. He's going to talk to us about why UK got involved in this show, Rebecca, and, and why they uh, enjoy sponsoring the Scholastic Ball Report. That's They've be, been a great asset to the, the show. They really have. And in our wrap-up, we're going to, all the interns, we're going to bring the, an encore presentation. <laughs> they all got around the couch last week, and we talked about their futures, and, their, and you're one of them. Yes. And they all did a great job, and, and that's going to be our wrap-up on the show this for season 14. Sounds good. Sounds like a great show we yeah, have here today. We do. Coming up, and we'll be back. First up will be the Bath County Baseball Team, our team of the week here, as we roll on here on the Scholastic Ball Report. Welcome back into the Scholastic Ball Report. My intern, Rebecca Cook, out of Franklin County, Gary Ball. Bath County's here, the baseball team. They're off to a terrific start. Thanks to Bob Roberts Insurance. They're out in Richmond, Kentucky. They insure three-quarters of this great state of Kentucky. From Bath County over there, Coach, I told you, you I got a close place to me. I got an aunt that uh, is over there in a nursing home in Bath County. So I, I, I get over there quite often, actually. Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate the opportunity to be here. You're 10 and 3. Uh, you're the second year as the head coach, 18 and 13 last year, so a nice season last year. What did you tell the ball club when you got grouped everybody together, got them together as you headed into 2017? Well, first of all, the guys worked really hard in the off season, yeah. and you know we came off a very positive year last year, mm -hmm. and I think that is uh, we sort of parlayed that into a good start this year, and. You know, we just wanted to continue to work hard, and you know, a lot of coaches come on this set and talk about fundamentals and mm -hmm. getting back to those. Mm -hmm. and, but that's exactly what we did. Uh, we graduated nine seniors last year, so we lost a lot of leadership. Uh, but we're returning seven seniors this year, right. and they've sort of inherited that role, and they've done a really nice job so far. Four of those great seniors with us. So three of them weren't able to make it, but we certainly <laughs> want to give them some recognition as well. Absolutely. We've got uh, seven really strong seniors, and each of them contribute in their own way. Uh, just a really strong group. Yep. And just to hit a little bit more on that, just talk a little bit about what, you, what, what all these seniors do to help contribute. Well, our first senior is Bryce Fryman, and uh, Bryce is a four-year starter. Uh, he's our second baseman. Uh, he's got a career 300-plus batting average. P. And, Rose. Yeah. And, you know, he's, Except he's not in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> he's so defendable. Uh, uh, and, you know, just, just having that staple in your lineup right. is very important. And, yeah. you know, I've asked him to lead off. I've asked him to hit third. Uh, and he's been able to just do a good job in each of those roles. Right. And then I've got Tanner Tout. Tanner plays first and he plays third. Uh, you know, just a versatile athlete, uh, plays multiple sports. He plays football as well. Yep. And, you know, he is just, he's been an asset to our team. Uh, he's been a leader. And, you know, those are things that are really important to me as a head right. coach. Uh, our third senior here is Lane Easton. Uh, Lane plays outfield for us. He's one of the fastest kids on the team. Uh, probably our best base runner. And he is a really good outfielder, uh, plays multiple sports as well, football guy. He's a track guy and, you know, just really important to our team. <coughs> Uh, Dylan Richards is our fourth senior. 
uh, Dylan uh, is a star pitcher for us. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he's battled a little bit of an injury this year. Uh, Dylan had an outstanding year last year, uh, struck out 52 guys in 51 innings, had an ERA that was sub two. So, you know, he's, he's meant a lot to our program. Our three seniors that aren't here are Ty Rogers, uh, Zach Martin, and Turner Schwartz. Wow. Uh, those three guys mean a lot to us as well. Uh, Bryce, as Coach said, you're a four-year starter. You're a Pete Rose hitter over 300, <laughs> so that's outstanding. And when I said you're not in the Hall of Fame, I was referencing Pete, not you. But he should be in the Hall of Fame. That's another show. Uh, what did you expect coming into this baseball season? Well, coming off a good season last year and with <coughs> a lot of good returning players from last year, I expected, expected a lot out of this season. And uh, I think we have a good chance to make a run. You maybe. know, uh, on that thought, you're 18 and 13. You won, so you're 28 and what, six, 16 or mm -hmm. uh, something like that in your last uh, 40. That's a pretty strong uh, record there. So that's that's an outstanding record when you combine last year and this year. Yeah, and you know it's sort of uh, you know winning is contagious. Yeah. And I think uh, we had a really really good group that graduated three or four years ago right. that, that made a regional tournament run. Uh, coach Brock Baber, who played at UK as well, right. was our coach and. You know, those guys were just outstanding. And, you know, we're trying to get to that level right. and to make a run. And that's uh, that's why I'm so proud of these guys. They're they're really giving me effort day in, day out. And, and we've got the talent. And it's just, it's been a fun ride so far. But, you know, the work's not done. But these guys are continuing to work hard. Right. Hayes in the barn. Absolutely. And Tanner, you have a really strong GPA with a 3.5. How did you feel going into this season? You know, uh, last year I felt really going into, uh, felt really good going into the off season. Uh, we have r really good returning players. Just all around, feels great this year. And, and Lane, you know, as a multiple sports star, Coach mentioned all the sports you play with a 3.9 GPA, so that's outstanding. H how does speed serve you? Because you can't coach speed, so. Well, I mean, it helps me, you know, run the bases, and I'm an outfielder, so. Track down me, balls out there. Yeah, it gives me confidence. Mm -hmm. You know, everything is hitting up, and out in the outfield I can get to, and. You know when that ball's hit, you go, I got that, man. I'm going left, I'm going to left, I'm going to left, I'm going to right. I, I'm going to run that ball down. You know, that's what fast guys think, right, Coach? I think Absolutely. about that. And, Dylan, you're a pitcher with a 4.0 GPA. How has it been battling through your, your injury this season? It's been a little rough, but I think uh, with such a good season last year and our uh, pitching uh, rotation this year is so strong, I think it's just going to make the whole pitching rotation strong as a group. So yeah. it's just looking forward to getting back, you know. So. Well, Coach, outstanding young man at Bath County. You're doing a great job. We pre I know that you're you. in that tough uh, 16th region and everything, but mm -hmm. uh, good luck in that. Good luck in the All-A, too. I know you all have been to that All-A several times. Yeah, we actually have won the Class A 16th region six times, and the most recent year being in 2013. And, you know, we've um, – you know, we've always had success with that, and yeah. the Class A obviously being for smaller schools, getting an opportunity to play right. for a state and regional championship. We play yeah. Fairview on Monday night, yep. and it's going to be in Owingsville for the opening round. And Coach works at a bank down there. Give your bank a plug there. I mean, <laughs> folks from all over be calling you down there. What yeah. bank you work at? I work at Owingsville Banking. Owingsville Bank. Give I'm a loan officer there. He's the guy right there. Give him a call. <laughs> Owingsville Banking, so give him a call. And We've got several banks that do a great job. Thank you, Coach. Thank you. And uh, guys outstanding. Have a great season. Look for Let's get that 20-plus this year. You had 18 last year. Let's get 20 plus you're halfway there so we'll certainly try thank you that's the bath county wildcats one of the best baseball teams in the 16th region now we're going to this feature this young man jordan blanton is one of the best athletes in the state of kentucky here's wymt to tell us about it jordan blanton bangs one to second that'll score jordan blanton to make it two nothing why not try jordan blanton over the defender? in all honesty i think jordan blanton's the most athletic kid that ever come through Johnson Central. His athletic resume can provide you proof. He was named the Class 4A Player of the Year. He was a Mr. Football finalist. He was named to the All-State First Team twice. And to wrap it all up, he brought home the first state football title in school history. But the athlete that we know on the gridiron almost didn't get to that championship. His sophomore year was actually his toughest year for us. He, that, that was whenever he chose, he said, I'm just not going to play football. I'm just not going to play football. We both told him, that's fine. You just address your coach and your teammates. Let them know that you're not going to play. And he couldn't do it. He, he catches balls on the football field that no one else I've ever seen catch. He's fast and he has good jumping ability. And those are the things, you know, that as a coach that you look for. I guarantee in football, if there's a fumble, he's probably on it. If there's a tip ball and he's a defensive back, chances are he either tipped it or he's getting ready to make the pick. Every athlete's not born uh, with the ability to run and jump like he is. 
and he's worked hard. He works hard in all three sports. Those other two sports being wrestling and baseball. In wrestling, the accolades started in his sophomore year where he won state in the 145 pound weight class. He's a four time regional champion in wrestling and he ended his senior season with a state title. But baseball is his true love. Baseball is my love. I love baseball. And it's just the greatest game ever. I just love baseball, everything about it, you know, from hitting to fielding, to throwing the ball, to the 90 degree sun beating down on you, to getting dirty. I love getting dirty. I love diving. I just love baseball. Now Jordan is heading to play baseball at the collegiate level in neighboring West Virginia at Marshall University. Okay. Whatever college coach gets a hold of him, they, they're not going to have a diamond in the rough. They're going to have a diamond on the ring. It's just beginning, really, for him. I know all that he has accomplished has been fantastic, but really, honestly, it's just beginning. And welcome back into the show. Our of course, uh, season finale of 14 will be back in the fall, but we want to highlight all the sports played and with us, the Woodford County Archery. Some of the archers over there at Woodford County, scholar athletes, it's our most popular segment, emphasizes academics. And you know what? All of you have pretty good academics, so we appreciate that. Let's start with you, Brandon, 3.6 GPA. What is it you, jo you enjoy most about being on the archery team there at Woodford County? Really, I think it's the atmosphere between the teammates and the coaches. The coaches make it super fun, especially it's still yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's always good when the coach is having fun. Yeah. And Justin, you're a freshman and you maintain a 4.0. How do you think that helps you with archery and your other school activities? Well, it really helps because it takes some of the pressure off of all of my grades, so I don't have to so much worry about having to not participate due to low grades. Right. And it just helps to keep mm -hmm. that stress off and I can put the stress where it's needed when it needs to be there. There you go. Mm -hmm. And Noah, you uh, work hard in class. You've got a 3.5. You're also going to uh, shoot at the uh, state next week, right, on the 20th yes, with the KJSAA That's over correct. to KBA. So congratulations for that. You qualify for that. Uh, you. How do your grades keep you pushing in other areas uh, of your academia there? Well, your grades just kind of teach you to work hard, and you have to do the same thing with archery as well. You just have to, like, focus every time on every single arrow because you can't take one off. So it's kind of like the same thing for school. You can't take a paper off. You can't take homework off. You just have to be there all the time. Just stay on. I'm noticing a really good uh, radio voice here. Do you do the announcements there at Woodford County for all the other? Uh, can, no, you know, no. the, you should. I mean, did you hear that voice there? <laughs> I mean, I'm, you know, perfect. <laughs> I, I noticed that kind of thing, you know. And Coach Peel, I'm sure you're very proud of these student athletes. Very. Just talk to us a little bit about that. Well, I'm very fortunate because out of my 24 varsity team, I have 13 that's being recognized for KHSA. Um, academic awards. I'm mm. very proud of that. Yeah, it's awesome. And is that something you stress on the team, the, the academic side I, of it? They see that white paper in my back pocket as I'm coming into practice. <laughs> they used to go running. Yeah. <laughs> so yes, it is very. That's got all stressed. the grades on it, does it? Yeah, and yeah. and plus the new freshmen that are yeah. coming in. Well, this kid's got a 4.0, and he's a freshman. I'm very fortunate yeah. because some of the other freshmen are not so fortunate. Yeah. <laughs> and this is two prong. This is for Brandon and Justin. Now that archery is gaining in popularity, with you know, with the hunger games and all that and I mean I know that's a little you know it's, different cut I, more more uh, whatever gives it popularity. whatever gives it popular okay it's also sanctioned now by the Kentucky High School Athletic Association how has that a change is that changed your approach to the sport at all you want to answer first or? <laughs> well it really hasn't changed my approach at all because it just it's better for the program so the more people who get involved the more spotlight we get and the more that People appreciate what we do and how hard we work. Do you ever just do. want to tell that bass fishing guy, hey, wait a minute, archery's, a, you know, <laughs> archery, man, that's a lot tougher than out there catching the fish, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, no, because well, I mean, <laughs> no, you probably like to fish, don't you? Well, there's I mean, finesse in both. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> um, well, I mean, the it being sanctioned now in right. KHSAA um, has really brought up the skill level, the mm -hmm. skill gap in. Mm -hmm archery. I've been shooting for a lot longer than him just because I'm right. older, but I mean, right. I've been shooting since sixth grade and back then it was only NASP, right? right. So, and I mean, it's, it's, there's a skill level, but 
KHSAA has totally brought that up. Right. And good luck at the uh, state next week on the 20th. That'll be at the KBA, right, Coach? Yes. Uh, each one of you receive a plaque. Pass oh. that down to your teammates there. That's from Crown Trophy over there behind Starbucks off uh, Will High Drive. Take that over there. They'll personalize that for you. Put your name in school. Congratulations. We just want to let you know in this classic ball report that we appreciate what you're doing in archery and what you're doing in the classroom there at Woodford County. Thank you for your time and appreciate Thank you. you coming on the show. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. That's the archers from Woodford County doing a great job over there <laughs> at Woodford County. And also you can see from the plaques doing a great job in the classroom. Now we're going to this Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week as we head down 27 to Sutherland Chevrolet. It's time now for the Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week in the state semifinal game between Scott High and Bowling Green. After Scott retook the lead on free throws, the Bowling Green 8th grader Zion Harmon banks it in to put his team in front 80-79. to those would be the last two points scored in the game as Scott High was unable to convert on their final attempt. And Bowling Green survives with the 80-79 win. That's your Sutherland Chevrolet Drive of the Week. And we're back here with the UK Sports Medicine segment for this week as we wrap up the show for 2017. Can you believe it, Rob Ellery? Another season. Another season down. And we're looking forward to the next season. And, you know, next season we'll start back with more great sports. The thing that, about the Scholastic Ball Report a lot of people don't understand is we want to emphasize every sport, you know, not just football and, and basketball, that, you know, all the sports. And that's what this show does. And that's why we're so glad to be a part of this show is not only the football players, but it's the football players and the soccer athletes and the golfers and, and the band that you've had on here before. I mean, it, it, it actually highlights student athletes at their finest. Don't and, forget my tennis players. Now. You know, tennis I'm into players, tennis now. I'm right. playing USTA now. So that's right. Got to give my tennis players some love. And, can you talk about a little bit about like sponsoring the ball report, what that means? So uh, 15 years ago, right. Gary came to me and uh, that means I'm getting old. That, that means I'm getting old, old too. And uh, pitched this idea to me and I thought it was a great idea to highlight student athletes at the high school level. Uh, it, what a great opportunity to, uh, to highlight those student athletes. And uh, we're just happy to be a part of it. And I think one thing unique, we'll talk about it more in a wrap, is we have high school interns like Joe himself and Rebecca and Elizabeth and uh, Brantley that actually work on the show and get to do part of the process oh, on air. It's know? a valuable experience. I mean, an invaluable experience for these, these young uh, students that uh, hopefully they can take that on and, and maybe find a career out of this. Mm -hmm. And another thing too, I think it relaxes them in front of the camera. So when they when they start doing stuff like job interviews or say they they decide not to do broadcast, somebody want to do sales. That's all about how you can communicate. It's all about these 16, 17, 18 year old kids getting out of their comfort zone and and and, and showing that they can do it. And I think it's awesome. And I applaud you guys for doing this stuff. And, and Rob, I've told you this many a time though. Thank you and UK Sports Medicine for being our title sponsor. We've already. Uh, re-upped again for next season right. and we appreciate that we're looking forward to the 15th season in the fall and you guys are a big reason for that and we're, I really appreciate that we're excited and uh, we're very thankful for you to have this show that's Rob Ulrich. he's the outreach director with UK Sports Medicine our title sponsor they'll be back with us again in the fall here on the Scholastic Ball but there's a website and our phone number and great working with you this year too Mr. Hurt from you too, Mr. Ball. great job and uh, we'll be back with more and wrap things up here on the Scholastic Ball Report Well, you hear us on this classic ball report talking about our great interns. Here they all are. We got Joseph Hurd, Elizabeth Lyons, Rebecca Cook, Brantley Aiky, and of course my main man Rob Holler. He's not an intern, but <laughs> yeah, everybody right. knows him anyway. Well, we wanted to let you know that we appreciate all your hard work on the show. We know you take time out of your classes and come here and do this show. So there's your plaque from the ball report. What it says is for outstanding work on this classic ball report. You're, you are appreciate for all the achievement you did this season. I think every one of you have a unique. Rob, you and I have been talking about this. Every one of these. Uh, these interns have a unique uh, personality. About oh, them. yeah. That's what makes it fun. Oh, it, it's great, and it's a great experience for them. Yeah. What, what, what did you take from the show? Well, I mean, there's a lot to get from it, but, I mean, you know, we had a Mr. Basketball today. We have all different kinds mm -hmm. of guests talking to them. It's really fun. Do you feel more relaxed now on camera? Definitely from day one to now. <laughs> right. uh, you know, we kind of recruited you. You were so good when you were here with Boyle. We said, that young lady is good in front of the camera. So what did you take from your short uh, stint on the show? Like Joe said, just 
meeting all the different athletes from around the state and also from day one, just kind of jumping right into it, I can tell a huge difference from the beginning to now. I, and I, I can too. That's why you got the plug. <laughs> <Right. laughs> right. Thank you. What about you, Miss Cook? You've been here for a while. Well, this isn't my third season, so I've been here forever, and I feel like over the years I can see myself just becoming more comfortable with it and everything and just yeah. relaxed a lot more, and I've gotten a lot of experience from it. Yeah. And I, like over the past three years, I've met so many different athletes right. and everything, and just I feel like I've made a lot of good connections throughout it. And she's even done some sideline reports. I was yeah. going to say, so yeah. Prep spin. Working so, with prep spin is right. awesome, too, yes. And how about you, Mr. Brandon? Uh, really my communication skills, learning how to talk to people and just getting more comfortable on camera. It has brought you out of your shell, sir. <laughs> is yes, what it's sir. Uh, yes, it, it has. has brought you. Yeah, we, you're probably, if I had to give a most improved award, <laughs> I would say you'd be our most improved. Thank and you. And all you guys are great, but you all would probably agree you'd probably be most improved, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Pretty Good. <laughs> As always on the Scholastic Ball Report, for those you see and those you don't see, keep, keep your, your eye on the Scholastic, Scholastic Ball, Ball Report. The Scholastic Ball Report was sponsored by UK Sports Medicine and brought to you by Central Bank, Crown Trophy, Farmers Bank and Capital Trust, Kentucky Utilities, Panel Swim Shop, P Rats. PrepSpin.com, Rafferty's, Roberts Insurance, Sutherland Chevrolet, and by Whitaker Bank.